What's up everyone? It's Phoenix here bringing you guys a something a little bit different. For the first time I actually saw a movie on the room on opening weekend. So I can actually talk about it with you guys and give you guys my review. And yes, it is The Incredibles 2 that was just released a couple days ago. Actually specifically on the 15th. And I saw it today. And <laughs> this is going to be a review of The Incredibles 2. I cannot promise you that there are no spoilers. And honestly, I would recommend seeing the movie first anyways before seeing any sort of review. Don't watch the reviews. Don't watch any non-spoiler reviews. Don't watch, obviously don't watch spoiler reviews. reviews. Because this movie is so good. And so great that you don't need to watch any review to go see it. You do not. This movie is so good that I would almost say, almost, that it's almost better than the original movie. That's what I said it. It is almost better, arguably better than the Incredibles original movie. It, the only thing that defeats it is that it was... The, the, the original thing was very original at the time. Incredibles 1 was very unique at the time. It, it was its own thing and no one else had already done it. So that's the only thing that kind of defeated it is that we've already just kind of seen this sort of concept. But it was really, really well put together. I can't really say anything bad about it. It was three hours long, yes. But it was really good. It was really, really, really good. And now I'm going to talk spoilers. Because I don't trust myself. So I'm going to talk spoilers for you guys, okay? So I'm going to move this over here to show that it is a spoiler review, okay? It's that over here, it's that over here. That's a spoiler review. So if you have not seen The Incredibles 2, leave right now because I don't want to say anything that will spoil your experience because this movie is so good. I'll give you guys 10 seconds to leave. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Okay, guys. Oh, that was so good. Oh my goodness. I, the thing is, I knew the villain at the time. I mean, the villain was revealed way before. I thought that the guy would be in on it. Honestly, I thought it was the guy that was, uh, the screen slaver. I thought it was a guy that was a screen sleeper and he was just using Elastigirl for his own benefits to sort of like boost her name. But no, it was only the sister and that was interesting. So essentially it was female against female, you know, one who chose good, one who chose bad. And it was so good. I loved the Elastimobile or the Elastibike or whatever it's called because it, it was so, it fit her so well. It was so flexible and so well put together that it, it drove really smoothly. And any other, <laughs> anyone who else who would try to use that wouldn't, it wouldn't work. <laughs> it, it, it would fall apart and it would be bad. I liked how the scenes that we saw in the trailers were incorporated in the film. I thought it worked very smoothly. Um, I did notice that that scene change from the original the original uh, trailer, but maybe that was done on purpose. I think that was done on purpose um, to kind of hide in the spoilers about it because um, that was really good. The way that Jack Jack went after the raccoon because he thought it was abandoned and the way that Mr. Incredible discovered that <laughs> Jack Jack has powers! 15 of them! Oh, that was so good! Such goodness! Honestly, 
I don't think you'll get a review that says the movie was bad. I really don't think so. I think this, I think this movie is going to do really well in the box office. I really do. Because it was so good. It's so, it's so nostalgic. That little reference in the beginning. How it was... Uh, this guy likes nostalgia. We like nostalgia. Uh, the suits were the suits were a little bit different than what they were. Elastigirl's suit was different. Even even the the original suit was was different, which was interesting. But it was still good. It was still well put together. Cause I remember the last time, in the original one, her suit was white, but the the uh the new one the one that's in Incredibles two that was not not in the trailer but her original her original suit was like a grayish an off white maybe um so that was a little bit different but that's uh, still fine I don't I didn't care it looks great um the mask was great um it had, it had a lot more red um there's a lot more red to her. And it was really, really well done. I don't think they really overdid it. Um, maybe some of the jokes could have been left off. But it was very humorous. It was very lighthearted. I laughed a lot. I know the audience laughed a lot. For every, for every single funny scene. They pretty much had the audience laughing. Which is good. Because it tells you that the jokes that they say are not only funny. But they're not like... They weren't too cliche, and they were humorous. It, it, a lot of it was like showing and not telling. Uh, the way that they showed the humor was really great. Instead of just saying, oh, I'm throwing all these puns in the air. It was really showing the humor that really drove it. That's how you make a humorous film. Without it being cheesy and cliche and ugh. You get the eye rolls. Um... The short in front of the film is really weird and oddly depressing. It was really, really weird to see that. It was... It was not really that good as compared to others. It was really well animated. It was great. The story was odd. The story was weird. And... I'm surprised that they showed that kind of short in front of Incredibles 2. But, whatever. Um, yeah, I know they always show shorts in front of the Incredibles, in, in front of the Disney Pixar films. Because they do have a lot of their their animators working on these short films. And then they show them off and say, hey, this is what our new animators can do or whatever. But it was just a really bizarre and weird concept. I also thought that the animation for that short was kind of racist. But that's all I'm going to say about that. That's all I'm going to say about that short. Because it was not that good of a short. Um, <laughs> it was it was weird and confusing and weird and very, very weird. Uh, but <laughs> regardless, the film itself was great. It was so good. It was three hours long, but three hours worth it. It I, I honestly didn't have it didn't have a dull moment. And maybe when I rewatch it I'll have a different thought. But when I watched it for the first time, it was so good. I rate that movie a ten out of ten. Because honestly, I don't think they could have done it better. And if they have a third movie, if they have Incredibles three it's going to be a lot of competition to get it to where the sequel was. Then alone the original. Forget the original. Incredibles 3 is going to have a terrible time competing with this movie right here. Because it's so good. At least from the first sighting of it. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. That's all I had to say about it. It's so good. Um... And the animation, you know, a lot of people thought it was like, uh, the original had a little bit of old school animation in 2004. And, the, and the, this one needed an upgrade. Oh, it got an upgrade. It was really, really clean. It was really colorful. And 
it still felt like the old Incredibles, and that was great. It like it like it it balanced uh, nostalgia with progression, and progression is good. You want progression with your films. You want you technically want the sequel to be better than the original because that means you're making progress. You're learning from your old mistakes. You're improving the film quality. And that's exactly what The Incredibles 2 did. Even though it was the same sort of concept, the, the, the execution of the film was really well done. So good. Whew. I have nothing really that much else to say. So, that's going to be all of the review. Um, I'm not a professional reviewer. I just thought I'd share my thoughts. Such a good movie. Probably my favorite out of the ones that I've seen this year. Yes. More than Infinity War. <laughs> uh, it was so good. It was just really good. Peace out, guys. It's been a blast. And you leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more content. And leave your comments down below. If you saw the movie, which you should have, <laughs> you should see the movie. Comment down below what was your favorite scene. And, also, what did you think? Was it better, or the same, or worse than the original film? Also, what was that short? <laughs> Comment down below, and peace out, guys. It's been a blast.